So today is September 30th, uh, 2020. Lovely day to be alive. 2020. Weather's good, though. Whew. Feels good So outside. we renamed our podcast to what? Well, we didn't rename it. We gave it a name, finally. We gave it, yeah. It finally has a name. It's Today Ends in Y. Today Ends in Y. Just a Y, not W-H-Y. Just a Y. Kind of a loaded, kind of a loaded name. Title, yeah. Right? Yeah, because it has... A lot of different meaning. Like why? Like wh- why are we even here? Yeah. You know. And why did we even name it that? Right. But I mean, because we can. Exactly. Exactly. I like the name. Because we did. It's better than the two the bears Brandon and one Steve cave. show or something. You know, some <laughs> or that two unoriginal. bears one cave, two which bears. I like. <laughs> bears one. <laughs> kind That's of kind a, of funny. By the way, did I mention I love this coffee? The Seven Eleven coffee apparently stepped up its game. It did. Would they clean the machines for the first time uh, this year? I don't know. I asked the guy. I said, uh, "I said, hey man, why why is the coffee so good?" He goes, "Hey, didn't you look at the machine?" <laughs> I said, "Oh yeah, I did look at the machine, dude. Brand new. Uh, yeah, it's a brand new machine. Doesn't said, have that mold funneling through it anymore." Jesus, man, you can't even talk to anybody anymore. It's like everybody is just dehumanized. It's if it's not a question about if it's not a work related question, mm-hmm. they don't know how to talk to somebody. Yeah, they. That's why I can't wait it's to go always, back. It's always, hi, how you doing? And then it's probably nothing or it's like, I'm doing good or something like that. Yeah. And it's it's just the, the courtesies and that's it. Right. It's not like, oh if, man, how was your day? Like, If that. You know. If that. Kind of thing. If that. And if you try to ask, you're fucking like, you're psychotic or something. Because right. why are you talking to me? Right. Like if I were to say, hey, my name's Steve. I'm a scuba instructor. How are you doing today? They'd be like, uh, large coffee. You yeah, want? right. No, I want. Uh, that's my nah. name. Nah. That's what I. Oh, did. that's pretty cool, Steve. How are you doing today? Yeah, yeah. Or you know something like that. Yeah. Brandon, what do you want, Brandon? Um, I want that good Seven Eleven coffee. That's yeah. what I want. Yeah. I don't know, man. But I'm going to New Jersey. Yeah, I saw your your post. You said you're. I can't to... wait to get my accent tuned in a little bit oh my god you got to jump right on the podcast off the plane <laughs> i know dude and just like i know we'll do like a a zoom call or something it'd be yeah. funny as shit yeah hey uh, yo steve i'm talking <laughs> here <laughs> hey yo so we're going to new jersey today <laughs> um we're gonna not learn how to say water correctly <laughs> water <laughs> kills me kills me well if you guys uh didn't hear it. That is Steve, aka Scuba Steve, and I'm Brandon, and this is Today Ends in Y podcast. What number is this? Number three? Are we on? Three We're gonna. Now? This is number two for the the name. Okay, two. So the first one was our first full one, so it was episode one. Now we're on to episode two. Although we've done other podcasts, we finally got our our uh, ducks in a row and right i feel like now we're just gonna yeah I move hope up so. i hope so so no it's not i hope so we are i just ba- you know we're basically doing it for the people on our facebook pages and hopefully they share it i really hope yeah i just really hope we can connect to our facebook friends you know and yeah because i mean i have like 500 of them and i don't post often so i mean shit if you want to know a little bit more about me and you're single. Us. And you're single. And so I'm, I'm very single. Very single. Yeah. I should be like on The Bachelor or some shit. What did you tell me like an hour ago? Hey, man, we got to get this podcast rolling. I got to date at 730. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we got to get we got to get it moving, man. Yeah. If you haven't noticed, I've been, sm- be... been smiling more. I got my teeth fixed. Oh, he's got a new grill, guys. I, g- I, I got my... Oh, my he's tooth. so much better to look at now. I actually <laughs> want to look at him now and not like my two front teeth fixed because I I had what the hell I had is a that? seizure. I had did, I don't know if I mentioned we haven't my put seizure. the seizure story on. Yeah, I had a seizure on the seventh of September. Oh, he you knows weren't the there date. for that. He doesn't. He knows the date. That's good. Yep, because it was Labor Day. Yeah, I had. I had oh a, yeah, I had it a was seizure. Yeah, it fell on my face. Still got some scars on there, right there. Yeah, he looked a hot mess. But uh, yeah, I recovered from that. I can't dive right now, so diving's kind of out of the picture until I get medically cleared. Uh, We talked about that earlier. I was at the VA. Yeah. Earlier. 
but we got this this podcast rolling and you know if he has a seizure right here you know i may or may not freak out <laughs> i might let him die i don't know <laughs> <laughs> seizures are fun you want to know why because you don't remember, I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> the aftermath is it's like getting uh blackout drunk and like getting in a fight or something that's ex- probably exactly what it feels like maybe worse what's crazy is you remember the last thing you do and you remember waking up to somebody saying you just had a seizure and you're kind of like in outer space yeah it kind of feels like you're i can't imagine that it takes like a good hour for you to actually come to come to like the realization that you're okay yeah that you're somewhere safe and there's people around to take care of you and usually you're in the back of an ambulance yeah because you go in and out of like um I don't want to say shock, but you kind of go in and out of consciousness. Yeah. After, at least okay. me. Yeah. Okay. So they're there to kind of like wake you up, make sure you're alive. Yeah. So. You but, didn't like bite your tongue off, did you? No, but my, I think what happened was why I have this scar here, is because I think when this tooth chipped, it went through my lip. That's crazy. So this just healed up right now. Yeah. That's why it looks no, good now. There's no hair. Well, I can't see, but I can't yeah. even see him this far away. That's how blind I am. I know. You are one blind son of a Oh, guy. I can see it now, now. A little bit. But. But. Yeah, man. I, I just really can't wait to get back to New Jersey and just get back to my roots. Get that uh, get that pork roll, egg, and cheese on a that everything bagel. Roll, egg, and cheese. You don't even know about the pork roll, egg, and cheese. Is that, like, comparable to the... Uh, Nothing is comparable. The chopped cheese or the bacon, egg, and cheese in New York? Bacon, egg, and cheese. Well, that's bacon, egg, and cheese. This is pork roll. This is the... Pork roll. Never heard of that. Back in the day, I I, I read up on pork roll. Back in the day, it was like a cheap... It was like your your bologna of the the time. Oh, okay. Like, you know how how bologna's cheap? Yeah, because it's just... Yeah, it's just a bunch of ground-up stuff. Processed, yeah. yeah. But it's so good. And you eat it. Usually have it on a bagel, um, uh, or you have it on bread and just pork roll and cheese. But I usually get it uh, from a place called Gems Bagels. Shout out Gems Bagels. Gems Bagels. I, uh, I haven't been to the Northeast at all, actually. So... Eventually, I'll make it up there. I think we can go up there. My brother, shout out to my brother Robert. He has a a a, a cut above barber shop in Hazlitt. Just opened up, doing really good. But he's got a little studio. Um, I think we could, uh, if he ever did come up there, we could basically shoot a podcast up there, and he'd be willing to he'd be willing to edit it. He loves Produce stuff it. like yeah, that. Yeah, be, he's uh... a, he's like a. Man, take some of that. Geeks out on that. Take that some of some of that off our shoulders, you know. Your shoulder. Wow. We'll uh, we'll both be on the same page soon. We'll be but rocking and rolling. Are you getting any feedback on Facebook about what we're doing? Uh, a little bit. Like um, questions or anything like that. Not uh, yes, I did have. I I had one of my buddies hit me up. Uh, he DM me and was like uh. You know, like I, I've been listening to your podcast. He's like, he's like, you made me kind of like want to start my own. Like he just moved from, uh, I think Hawaii, and then back to San Diego. And he's like, once I get settled in, man, I'm gonna make a podcast. Just do it, man. I've been making these excuses. I'm like, it's so easy to make excuses and be like, oh, we'll do that, whatever. But like, I just told him, you know, like if you want, if you want any pointers, not that we're knowing what we're doing i've just been learning as you know we've been learning as we go right so right. definitely you know, been learning we got support we go. it feels like between me and steve we got support um over in cali so the west coast and over here as well um in florida so i think it's all good yeah i think you said you got some people uh you know shouting us out and not yeah, shouting us lady, out, but like, um, uh, a lady from uh, saying i've been listening and stuff lady named stacy Really good lady. Um, she is the I think the director of uh one of she basically runs a place called uh the Wounded Warrior Homes. So what they do is they um they take in uh veterans from like clinics that they have just 
recovered from from like mental clinics like uh, a place called aspire in san diego for example they'll take them in and it's like a transition so they'll give them a house to stay in okay um you know they'll give them some food stuff like that but yeah you kind of it's kind of structured um you know you have to stay uh drug free all that stuff but it's it's a it's a good deal man it, you know it it's uh something that's um offered to to veterans out there if uh, you're a veteran in california look into that out there if you're ever in need you know it it's humbling yeah for sure but um i think sometimes you need a little humble in your life yeah i, I think mean, you need to be humbled sometimes yeah for sure know? It's humbling for me doing this because we're, we're so new at it and we're not getting that many views that, like, it's just uh, kind of like I, I want to – I want this to be a success overnight. Same. But it's not going to be. Yeah. And I, I understand that. It's, it's hard for me, and I think a lot of people – just in general, but for this, it's like, it's hard to live in the present. Like, you're always thinking about the future, like the what ifs, the, you know, like, what if our podcast blows up? What if, you know, we start getting all these views? What if, you know, we ever get monetized? You know, like, you always think about these what ifs, but you don't, I feel like there's more appreciating the present, you know? I feel like it's really easy to, to kind of get distracted in the, the what, what's going to happen in the future, and it makes you worry more too. And I'm I'm a big culprit of that. So yeah, I biggest thing for me is I I go on Facebook. I look at people's lives, and I know for a fact, not you know they put up these great pictures of their families, and they're doing so good. And deep down inside, I don't want to say everybody, but I know some people aren't living that life, that happy sure. life. Yeah. You know? And. Sometimes I do that, you know, like yeah. I want to portray me as being happy, yeah. you know, but there's no portraying, you know, this is what it is. Like this podcast is what it is. So when we For put sure. it up there, it's not like, hey, we're doing really good. It's, it's either you're doing good and people like you or you're not doing good and people aren't going to watch you. Yeah. You know? So trying to relate to my friends is something that we're going to have to try to work on just like your friends For and sure. the world, you know, that's why yeah. we're going to be going to pe all different places, you know, exactly. all around the world here shortly. Yeah. One thing I, a shower thought I had recently, uh, about this podcast, I was like, man, like this is actually like a really good outlet for us to just talk about things going on in your life. Like, I don't know, like if people, it's kind of weird, but if people talk to themselves, like during like just just to get through the day or like whatever you're talking about or like a situation but like this we could just like put it out there on a podcast and like i'm just talking like what we're doing right now is like we're just talking and it's kind of like a relief a little bit like instead of us just shooting the shit in the hallway like now we do it and everyone can listen and like right. you know give feedback or you know comment or even you know right be a part of our lives in a sense which is kind of cool yeah and it can be like you know maybe we can help people or you know i i never thought i, ha I would ever have anything to offer anyone but i, I do have Same. stories yeah you know and i think i have relatable stories some funny some not yeah and uh you know i think it just gives people relief you know that hey they did the same thing you know my sure. my my life's not perfect you know yeah. it took me 36 years to finally find a girl that I like mm -hmm. that is a little quirky, but is like one of the best things that's ever happened to me. Um, took me 36 years to begin to love myself. I never loved myself, actually. You know, you yeah, can't I, love somebody hard, else. Yeah, it's hard to, you know, it's, it's a hard thing, man. It, that's a whole nother thing. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it's life. Yeah. You know, it has its ups and its downs. and For sure. You know, and, and what's cool about us two doing this, it's our age gap is so big. You know, you get that tw early 20s, um, that early 20s idea yeah. of life, and I have this 36-year-old yeah, we, vision. We're both on different wavelengths yeah. as far as that's concerned. 
but it's kind of cool because it it gives a very interesting dynamic I think that we have and you know it it's not just me someone talking you know like me who doesn't have the 10 plus years experience that you have over me you know people might not you know think that I have that experience but then you bring up a point and then you know so our audience I feel like is a bigger group right. of people right right and one one thing what you were saying about the appearing happy on social media I was just thinking I was like I've actually had people comment or like send me messages like man you look so happy like just recently like yeah man you you look like you're doing good you look like you're you're happy like yeah I feel like I'm happier than I was at you know a certain point but you know just because I'm doing this you know that appearance of being happy because I'm out there now more than I was before Right. Not necessarily means that you're happy. Right. You know. Just some food for thought, but it's, yeah, it's n- it's definitely food food for thought because it's, it's it's everyday life. That's what yeah. social media is nowadays. Yeah. It's it's you know, what you appear to everyone else. It's like perception is reality kind of thing. Perception is reality. Yeah. So For sure. And social media just is paints that perception. Whatever you want it to paint, that picture is yeah. what people see. Yeah. Unless they see you every day, obviously, then that changes. And there's some but people on Facebook that when they post these pictures that are happy, I know for a fact they're happy because they're good people, you know? They, yeah. They have good jobs. They have, they're doing good. They're just, they for just sure, do yeah. good. They, yeah, yeah. They give back and all this other crap. And it's, you know, me, whenever I try to portray, hey, I'm grateful, I'm trying, I'm really trying to to be grateful. I'm I'm not perfect. I'm not trying to boast myself, but I catch myself sometimes posting things on Facebook or social media in general and just yeah. saying after I post it like am I really that happy? Yeah. It's kind of like an outlet that you're like at the time. It's like it may, maybe it makes you feel happy because you're posting it right. on social media. Right. Like, yeah. That's why. It, so that, that's why a lot of a lot of the times I am watching dark humor, like dark, I like love dark humor, like like vet TV or yeah. Uh, I need to start watching that actually. Yeah, vet TV or um and, and like Joe Rogan po- podcast is great. Yeah, it's, that's probably where we got our vision. You know, yeah. that that's like the ultimate goal, obviously. For but sure. um Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn, I'd be geeking this week. Bro, oh my god. <laughs> bro, he is like the god. I think like fifty percent of me and Steve's like text messages are about Theo Vaughn's podcast. Yeah. And like his Instagram posts are like yeah. if you're not watching hilarious. Theo Vaughn if oh. if you're not watching Theo Vaughn, you're not having you as to. much fun as you as you, you really as you can. need to. And now he's back doing stand up again. Now that some places are open, yeah, I think he's actually going to Jersey. Yeah, um, he is uh, Ocean Ocean Port or whatever yeah. Ocean Side or whatever yeah. that is. Man, I would love to see his show. But oh my god, he I don't know. You got me hooked on him, and like I'm I like a couple episodes back on this past weekend, but yeah. Oh, that that one with the single moms, man. That one killed me. Bro, did you see? Yeah, did you see him like? <laughs> When he's like, tell me what you do. And she like really went into what she did. And he's like, like, I'm on OnlyFans. And his face was like. It it was after he said, oh, "Oh, tell us what you do on OnlyFans. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like. Because he was he was asking her. He was asking her something about the kids or like something else about her life. And then she just went in like. He just wanted a general. Yeah. And she's like, oh, I post nudes and explicit material. He's like. And he's like. Oh well, we didn't want to know that actually, but I support that. Uh, I don't know if I'm like, gonna go on there. He's like, or not. Uh, me and Nick might need to get one of those subscriptions, uh, <laughs> not to just not to check her out, but you know, just to support her. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But it is crazy that you can support yourself on OnlyFans. Like you can support a family just by I, i've being... never heard of only fans till that episode oh really i've never it's like I a newer it newer thing i think it came out like last well i don't know when it came out but it got like more popular last year and like all these girls are like making all this money off of it 
Doing what? Just nudes and stuff? So, like, it's a subs- yeah, so it's like a subscription. So they can post whatever they want, but you have to pay. And then it's like, there's like legalities and stuff where you can't like screenshot. You can't like, it's actually illegal to do that. So, I mean, obviously people do it, but you can get like arrested and things like that for it because you're signing like a contract legally that that you're not going to like share this material because you're supposed to pay for it. Um, it's kind of like people subscribe and right. to get the content. Right. It's like stuff you can't post on regular social media. So they don't, they don't, right. it's all whatever they want. Okay. So, I mean, it's not all nudes and like stuff like that, but it can be a lot of it is. But it's supporting families. Yeah. And they get like certain percentages, I think, of the money. That's insane. And like this lady was just like, single mom has like three kids. And she's like, yeah, I don't have a job anymore, but you know, I'm on OnlyFans. That and girl was smoking. Now I'm, hot, oh my bro. God. Smoke show. Yes. So if you haven't seen Theo Vaughn this past weekend, check that out, man. Yeah, it's he's hilarious. got that. He's got it, Ping in the Sting. He's yeah. got uh, something he's else. Got, yeah, like the, two or three. He's got like three podcasts, I think. Yeah. But the, this past weekend is it's just just him. Yeah, and sometimes personal. I'll have a guest. But yeah, yeah this past weekend is, but yeah. The King and the Sting's really good, too. Yeah, that one's good. Re- really good, too. I need too. to start catching up on them. Yeah, because like... When he has somebody that he can feed off of, yeah, he has more of a creative mind, yeah, and his creative juices come out, and, it, and those like the, one-liners start coming out. Bro, he's like, like the king of one-liners, oh man. Oh my god, he's like up oh, there I, with Rodney Dangerfield I type I one-liner. Could, oh my god, I wish I was like that. Like, he's just got that it factor. It's it's he's got it. But I think he'll like slow down the podcast stuff once. Do you know he, he does? He was shows the, more. He was like he was on um, that show on MTV, Road Rules. Was he really? Yeah, I didn't know that. He was like on the one of the first seasons of oh, Road shit. Rules, so he was that's okay. where he started. Oh, and see, I don't even know where he that started. That was like okay. twenty something years ago. Yeah, and then he was like the joke of comedy because yeah. they're like, oh, he's the Road Rules guy. Oh, okay. So yeah, I don't know his origin st- story like, yet. If if you really get into him and start watching him and understand him, uh-huh. he he struggled. Like he is where he is today. Like he is where he is today because he busted his ass, and yeah. it's like he's finally successful. Like yeah. he's successful today. Like today. Yeah, he was saying that like he's not like last year, like but like today, like. Just before coronavirus hit, he was like finally at a point where he could like support himself as a comedian yeah. and like doing what he's doing. Yeah. And he's like, then this virus hit and like he like got worried. Got worried that like this shit was gonna go down like downhill. Yeah. But I think he he's did, done a great job with these podcasts and yeah, his merch and all that. stuff. I mean that's where. 